Welcome to Emergency Tutorials. In this video, we will see I2C driver implementation in PIC16F877E microcontroller with Proteus simulation. Before going to this tutorial, we strongly recommend you to learn the basics of I2C communication protocol. Link for I2C protocol basics tutorial is given in the description. Also, a code will come at the right side top of this video now. I2C arbitration and I2C clock structuring video is given in the suggestion as well as description. First, we shall see the code. In the code, we shall start from the main function. In the main function, firstly, I2C pins are initialized using init I2C function. Then, I2C start function sends a start bit S on I2C bus. Then, a value of 0x A0 is written on the I2C bus using I2C write byte of 0x a0 statement. After that, I2C read byte function reads a byte from the I2C bus because there is no slave attached on the I2C bus. That is why Rx byte will receive a value of 0xff. After that, an ACK A is transmitted on I2C bus using I2C send ACK function and this the end of stop bit P is transmitted on I2C bus using I2C stop function. Next we shall see the pin configuration. The code used to do set different properties of I2C bus is defined here. Here, SDA pin is selected to be RC4 and SCK pin is selected to be RC3. You can't change these pins because internal I2C module in PIC16F877A uses these pins only. Also, I2C speed is defined to be 100 kbps. You can change the speed to your desired value. You can go up to a maximum of 400 kbps. Next, we shall move to init I2C function. In init I2C function, firstly, SDA and SCK pins are made inputs. And after that, different properties of I2C module are selected. For example, I2C speed is selected by writing SSPADD register and using SSPCON register, I2C is enabled in master mode. Next, we shall move to I2C start function. In I2C start function, SCN bit is set which makes the internal I2C module to send a start bit on the I2C bus. Other functions like I2C stop are written in similar fashion. Next, we shall move to I2C write byte function. In this function, byte value is written in SSP buff register, which is then transmitted automatically by the built in I2C module. The ACK or MAC received at the end of this byte transfer is received from the slave 
and returned from this function using return at his TAD statement. Next, we shall move to I2C read byte function. When OCEN bit is set, then 8 clock pulses are transmitted to the slave. Slave places the data on each clock pulse. This data value is saved in the SSP buff register. This register value is returned from the function in the end. Data is received in MSP first stale. Let's generate the hex file. Right click on the project and clean and build. Here we can see the build successful statement. Also, we can get the path of the generated hex file. Let's see the circuit connection. This is the circuit we are going to use in the Proteus sim. This is the pic 16 f 877 a microcontroller. And we have the 20 MHz crystal oscillator. Then we have the I2C debugger for our debugging purpose. We have connected RC3 serial clock to I2C debugger and also SDA RC4 serial data. Let us start the Proteus simulation. Here we added the generated hex file in Proteus. Then we can start the simulation. Here we have I2C debugger. This I2C debugger tool received all the I2C messages and display them on I2C debug window. That is what we are seeing in here. Here I2C debugger tool is telling us that first of all it received I2C start bit S. Yes. Then a value of 0xA0 it was received. After that there was a NAC bit named as N in the debug window. After the NAC A value of 0xFF was there on I2C bus. After that an act was there named as A in the debug window and in the end I2C stop bit named as P was received. Here the I2C debugger is telling us that a pattern of S, A0, N, F, F, A, P was received. But in our main function, we are sending only S, A0, F, F, A, P. There is a NAC missing in the main function. The reason for this that I2C write byte function is written in such a way that it uh, writes 8 bits of the I2C bus and then reads a single bit that is ACK or NAC from I2C bus. Because there is no slave attached on the I2C bus at the moment, 
that is why i to see write byte function reads an NAC bit. So this concludes that pic 16F877A is actually writing SA0NFFAB pattern on the I2C bus as confirmed by this debugger tool. Also, we can expand and see each and every bit of transaction high, low, all we can see in using the I2C debugger tool. This is the end of I2C driver implementation in PIC 16F877A microcontroller with Proteus simulation. This is a simple example of I2C implementation. In the next tutorial, we shall interface EEPROM through I2C with PIC 16F877A. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.